I had spent all my savings. It wasn't so much exactly, but at least I'd bought a little thing I thought was nice. I had got it completely wrong. I remember being totally stressed. The other girls had brought big gifts. I remember the feeling, bringing this tiny gift from me, and I got really embarrassed. My gift was tiny compared to the others. The other girls were going to think I was really stingy. I need the loo. I remember in that second seriously considering saying that I'd forgotten the package at home. Right there and then, I was reminded of something my dad had told me recently from the Bible, about Jesus. The story started in the temple. A crowd had gathered around him and he spoke to them. Then Jesus said something quite unusual. Beware of the scribes. The scribes were the ones who were the most important of all in the temple. Those who knew everything about God's laws and commandments and about the traditions and culture. They were the experts, the brightest and the best. It was not the first time Jesus warned against them. He had repeatedly called them hypocrites. That's a bit of a tricky word, but a hypocrite, that's someone who pretends to be better than they are. To be a hypocrite is to be fake, to act a part in a way, so that others think that you're so good, or preferably better than others. Jesus taught his disciples many times that they must not be hypocrites. That's why they had to look out for the scribes, because they were hypocritical and could easily influence others to do the same. Jesus didn't want his disciples to be influenced like this. He wanted them to be completely themselves, completely honest, and not pretend to be anything other than they were. Jesus continued. The scribes like to walk around in long robes and they like people to greet them in the town square. They do things to be seen and heard by others. Jesus sat right across from the temple treasury. It was a place where the Jews gave money in as an income for the temple. Jesus watched how people put money into the box. A lot of rich people gave a lot, but there was also a poor widow. She put two small coins worth a few cents into the box. Jesus then called his disciples to him and said, This poor widow has given more than any of the others who put money into the treasury. For all the others gave of their abundance what they had extra, but she gave out of her poverty. Everything she owned, everything she had to live on. What Jesus meant was not that the best thing is to be poor, but that we must be honest and do what we can. So whether we're poor or rich, we are who we are. We're not trying to pretend we're better and we're not doing anything just to make others admire us. No, we do what we know is right and we give what we have. That day, I decided that no matter what it cost, I wanted to be honest. I would believe that when I did what I could, Jesus would bless me for it, whether the others thought it was little or much. And that's how it's become. Jesus has blessed me, and I have become a blessing to others, just being the person I am.